Ooh, hey, whoa. Hey everybody, how's it going? So today I'm wearing hot pink because I wear hot pink when I go running. And you all know that I've been a runner all my life. I've been running since I was a little kid. Yeah! The thing I love about running is that it's like pure freedom. I'm just out there. And for me, it's a time for no technology. I don't run with my phone. I don't run with music in my ears. I want to just hear nature and be out there. But today I'm going to do something I've never done before. My friends at Polar, check it out, Polar, sent me this M600 watch and they said, you got to try this out. It might change your life. It's pretty cool. It's essentially like a smartwatch built for athletes, which is neat. And there's all these amazing functions, many of which I have no idea what they do, but I'm going to figure this thing out and we're going to have a great day. So. I'm gonna put this on my wrist. I have not put a watch on my wrist in years. Yeah, look at that. All right, time to take this baby out for a run. It is a beautiful fall day here in Boulder, Colorado. Let's go. Gotta put sunscreen on in Colorado. Happy feet. I'm ready. Before I get too excited and just run out the door, I have to remember to turn this thing on. And it's really cool, it has this training feature where you can choose running, or biking, or swimming, or tons of activities. You hit the button, boom, and then it starts. It starts mapping you, GPSing you, heart rate. Oh. The trees are changing colors. Fall is coming to Colorado. But we're gonna take a little detour just for fun. It's a dead end, but it's worth it. This, my friends, is Wonderland Lake. That's where all the super rich people live. Back on course. This polar watch is, uh, it's judging me right now. It's like, why you stop, buddy? Let's keep it going. Here we go. I don't have a cameraman. That means I gotta set this up, put it down, and run in front of it over and over. So this is where I'm gonna run. Up there, check it out. That's where I'm going. Uh, this is where the heart rate skyrockets. And I've never ever paid attention to the actual numbers of my heart rate. I just know that it's rocking and rolling in there because I can't breathe. This is the way I like to train because it puts you in the pain cave right away. Get you in shape quick. There's a paraglider. See the guy flying? So cool. Up, up, up we go. It's getting steep. Ah. It's saying my heart rate's about 150 beats a minute. I've always enjoyed running uphill. As crazy as it sounds, it's true. In a race, that's always where I excel. And that's why I train, going up really steep hills. So that when I hit this moment in a race, my body knows what it feels like. There's my beautiful boulder. Heart rate's up to 170. 170. Yes. Whenever I get up here, I always give out a nice little whoop and holler. Woo I usually hang out here for a little bit, admire the view of my beautiful town. Right now, the leaves are changing colors. It's an absolutely epic early fall day. Blue sky, this is Colorado at its best. Running for me is my time to, sounds weird, but to slow down from the fast paces of life and just uh, think about how beautiful it all is. I'm pretty darn lucky to be on this planet, to be living in this town, to be up and alive and healthy on this beautiful day. All right. It's time to head down. We're down off the ridge. Now it's just an easy, 
cruise home. Back at the home base, time to sync this with the computer and make sense of it all. All right, I got my watch sync to my Polar Flow app, and it's telling me all sorts of cool stuff. 4.3 miles, average heart rate was 140 beats per minute, burned 758 calories, I can eat a few more donuts. My max heart rate was 175. My pace per mile was 1407, which is really slow for me, but that is due to the fact that I was stopping and starting the whole time and filming this whole thing. Um, wow, look at all this cool stuff. This is the interesting stuff here. The heart rate zones. I was in 10% 10, 10 of heart rate zone 5 for about 6 minutes. That's probably when I went straight up the hill. Most of my run was in 3 and 4. So the safe zone. And this is really cool. So you can use this watch and it starts mapping out all your daily training exercises. So what does this all mean? Is it beneficial to me? Is it beneficial to you? Um, I guess it's up for you to decide. For me, it's fun to see how fast I'm going, the route that I'm running, how many calories I'm burning. These are all things I never, ever paid attention to in my entire life of running. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take all this in, keep using this watch, and uh, see if I can't turn myself into a faster runner. You know what's hard to do? Run up a steep hill and talk to a camera and sound articulate. This might not make any sense.